Hey everyone, Bob Wallen, Licensed Acupuncturist. In this video, we're going to go over some acupressure points that you can try for dizziness. Common causes of dizziness. So here we've got Meniere's disease, uh, neck issues, disc herniations, blood pressure problems, high blood pressure, low blood pressure, anemia, and also blood circulation issues. So dizziness can be a result from a many of issues like we had said earlier, but uh, the first thing to do is always get go to your local doctor, get it checked out, make sure there's nothing serious going on. If, uh, actually, I've seen some good results from something what's called a vestibular, excuse me, vestibular physio. So sometimes when patients aren't responding to acupuncture, I usually tell them to go see a vestibular physio and they do some tests and usually they give you some exercises and that kind of corrects it a bit as well. So if it's not blood pressure related or anemia related, sometimes uh, for anemia, some people just get iron infusions and that helps dizziness as well. So if none of that's working, if it's neck related or stress related, sometimes that can cause dizziness as well that causes an immune response, your cortisol levels up, the body just kind of doesn't, doesn't react the way it's supposed to, so that causes that can be cause of dizziness as well. In Chinese medicine, they call it liver wind, but um, for our intensive purposes, if you don't know Chinese medicine, don't worry about it. Here are some acupressure points that you can try if nothing else has worked. First point we're gonna talk about is a point called do 20. So if you just take the tip of your ears, this is the apex of your ears right here, and you just kind of make little ears right here and connect right at the top, this point here, this is called do 20. So you can just take your, uh, the knuckle of your thumb right here and just kind of knead through here and you'll find some tender spots right at the top over here and just knead that for about 30 seconds up to a minute. Uh, another point is gallbladder 20 which is a point what we talked about in the previous video for ringing in the ears. So it's right at the back of your head and if you just take two thumbs and you're just looking for the top of your trap muscle and your neck muscles where they all meet at the very apex of it, you'll see a little, you'll feel a little divot and you take two thumbs and you're just kneading there in circles for about 30 seconds to a minute each side and you want to find the most tender sore spot. So this is really great for uh, neck related issues as well. That's something that you can try. Uh, the last point here is this one's called gallbladder 39. So this point is just on the outside of your leg. So if you take your four fingers and place it on the outside of your outside ankle, right here in between these two muscles, you're gonna find a spot that's called gallbladder 39. Take your thumb, knead, and you press just around this area, 30 seconds, even up to a minute, and you can do that on both legs. So that's just a basic overview of some acupressure points or some acupuncture points that your acupuncturist may use. If you can't get access to a, an acupuncturist because you're on lockdown or for whatever reason, these are some things that you can try. This may help, but it's always best to see a practitioner if you can. If none of these options work. You can also try looking into a, a herbalist as well, or herbalist depending on where, you, where you're coming from. Uh, so they may prescribe herbs that help. So that's something that we've had success with uh, in the clinic treating dizziness as well. Hope this helps.